How do Phil Lord Touch here? And if you've seen the title, you know what this video is about. But I am over the flipping moon because an old work colleague yeah, has given me my first flipping Amiga. Look at that. My first flipping Commodore Amiga. Contacted me late last week and said, uh, Would you like this? And it's just a picture of this. Uh, so I'm gonna open it right all four. I'll show you all in a minute. There's a picture of that. Yeah. A box of discs. I don't know if you can see that. more blown out. A box of discs. All the logo for all of this. And a box of games. He said, would you like this? I said, no, stuff you. I said, never said that. I said, yes. I have never, ever in my entire life had an Amiga or an Atari ST. Uh, reason being is when I was little, I had a ZX Spectrum. And rules were logically with my father and mother is I had a computer, so why would I need another computer? So I had a ZX Spectrum all the way up to the point where I bought my own Game Boy. And my dad wouldn't speak to me for a week because you could only play games on a Game Boy. And from that point on, I bought like, my own Mega Drive. Uh, I bought my own Specky 128K Plus, the toast rack off a car boot sale with a load of games for a tenner. Basically, I bought my own from that point on because uh, I knew if I wanted computers or consoles, it was up to me to get them because I couldn't black it out my parents. But yes, I got a Commodore from my old work colleague, Mike. That is boxed as well. Uh, it's had a memory put back in it. Uh, but Mark from Mark Fixes Stuff is currently looking at it. I put a link to Mark uh, channel in the description. Uh, go look at his stuff. Not only is it educational, it's always also funny. Because uh, Dave Birdsaw, a link to his channel in the description, uh, said open up the bottom and check it's got a expansion pack in it. They flipping did. I know nothing about them, and Mark said, make sure the battery's not leaked, otherwise it'll fry everything. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, is uh, I'm going to do three parts of this video, and I'll timestamp it at the bottom. Uh, so I'm going to show you the, what's inside the box, the um, uh, Amiga box. Uh, I'm going to show you what's inside the tin box, which is full of discs. I'm going to show you what's inside the big box, which is full of box games. I'll timestamp in the description. So if you see BA, want to see what's inside the Amiga box, you can skip ahead by just clicking the links in the description. How easy is that? Uh, and after that, it'll just be me wrapping up. So even if you don't want to watch that, it's up to you. It's up to you what you want to do, but whatever you do, stick around, watch it in order, it's up to you. But one thing, isn't it bloody brilliant? I now have an Amiga. It may have taken me like nearly 30 years to get one, well I've got one. I've flipping got one. Thank you, Mike. Stay here, go and click a timestamp, it's up to you. Wherever you go, see you at the end, possibly. And here is me opening the Commodore box. I can't believe it's all box as well. <laughs> Just knock the tin of discs. Inside we have uh, the power pack and cables here. That's the TV out. So I've ordered a uh, SCART cable as recommended by uh, Mark. I've Mark fixes stuff. We've got the uh, Amiga mouse here. Uh, what else have we got? We have a Tandy, for those that remember Tandy, Tandy mouse mat. Uh, the A520 video adapter. Now, as I said, I don't know much about uh, Commodore Amigas at this time, so you have to forgive me when I say I have no idea what an A520 video adapter is at this time. And here is 
the Amiga. What I'll do, I'll just stop this and take out the polystyrene. There it is. I discovered underneath the warranty card. It's not been filled in yet. Do you think it should do it? I don't think time's gone by. Not too sure. We'll decide that later. Anyway, there it is. All the keys. Not actually turned on yet. I think what I want to do is when the scart lead turns up. The scart lead turns up. Then I'll turn it on. No, like make it make it the thing. So we can see it all working at once. As I said, uh, I took the memory out of the bottom. Uh, that's gone off to have a look at already. Uh, but it's all there. It's even got, because I know old computers sometimes uh, lose plastic bits. But it's even got its plastic cover here. Uh, it's all there. It looks magnificent. It really does. So I'm going to find out what bits do. So like the A520, whatever that is. And someone, uh, I think it was Wayne that mentioned the GoTech. Is it GoTech? I can't remember. Anyway, that's the Amiga and that's what's in the box. Right. I'm going to start with the box of discs. Uh, it's a tin disc. Honestly. I think we're going to be here for about 10 minutes, to be, if we're going to be honest. Uh, there are, there seem to be a lot of copies in here. Uh, I haven't looked at all them all. I just picked them up and went, oh, flip, a load of copies. Uh, so I thought we'd go through them one by one, because uh, Karen is sharing. Uh, but they are expertly labelled. Remember those, uh, used to get them in like stationary kits we get for school. I don't know if Mike did it or whoever, but they've all been nicely labelled like that. Look, uh, some of these I know, like Another World. So I know Another World. I know, I think it's Upper Off Road Racer, wasn't that Ivan Hardman? Uh, Simpsons. Wasn't the Space Mutants a bit pants? I don't know what it's like on the Amiga, but wasn't it pants on the Specky? Kickstart. I don't know if that's. No. Now we've got Zool as an actual game in there. So I wonder if that's as a backup, just in case we lost it. Warzone. I don't actually know Warzone, so play that, definitely. Floor 13, disc 2, so hopefully disc 1's in here. Don't know floor 13. Zany Golf, don't know that. Hang on, what I'll do, if it says disc 2 like that, I'll keep that to one side, right. Soccer Kid, not a fan of football. Sim City, I know that, and I do like Sim City. Defender of the Crown, I don't know that. Oh, hang on. Defender of the Crown, Disc 2. I don't know Defender of the Crown. If any of these are cracking games, by the way, let me know in the comments below. Law and Temp, Disc 1. Law and Temp, Disc 2. Deliverance. I know the film. Deliverance Disc 2. Like I said, I know the film. Oh, hang on. Law and Temp Disc 3. Law and Temp Disc 4. That's either a big game or a big, big program. Uh, IK Plus. Now, I do know International Karate. Prince of Persia. That has been ported to everything, hasn't it? Kick off 96 disc 2. Hang on. Kick off 96 disc 3. Kick off 96 disc 1. Oh, my God, look at this. 413 disc 1. I don't know 413. Silkworm. I definitely know that. I played that on my own channel on the Specky not so long ago. Uh, Disc 2. 
that was Alien Breed 92 demo. However, it now says BC Kid Disc 1. I don't know what a BC Kid is. BC Kid Disc 2. If anybody knows what BC Kid is, is it good? Was it worth copying over Alien Breed 92 demo? Premier Disc 1. Premier Disc 2. Premier Disc 3. European champions for the Amiga. IK Plus again. Oh, hang on. Flashback Disc 2. Oh, that was another World Disc 1, wasn't it? Right. Ah. Flashback Disc 3. Flashback Disc 4. What's this? Shadow of the Beast. No, Shadow of the Beast 3. Not 3. Yep, Disc 2. Shadow of, hang on, disc one of two, sorry. Shadow of the Beast, disc two of two. Shadow of the Beast, three, disc two of two. That's a bit of a numerical tongue twist, isn't it? What's this? Exclusive demos of Universal Monsters and Superhero. Uh, Amiga playable demos of Troddlers and California Games 2. Another Omega disc. Uh, Lotus 3. Uh, is that three stages? Three uh, super fast stages of Lotus 3 from Gremlin Graphics. And 100% Amiga Sensible Soccer. And what's the other one? Can't see what the other one is. What is that one? No second prize. And the next disc is Borador. Mixture of platform and driving action, Harlequin and Discmaster. Copy and disc copy and display files. Right. Next pile. Oh, there's another one down there. Another two down there. Disc 33 of Amiga. Adam's Family Massive lemo, Level Demo. Uh, disc 32. Utilities worth £120. Alright. Oh. Never, let's never open this one. Must have been pants. Let's have a look. Huge playable demo of Super Cauldron 2 and Sink or Swim. Three levels from Fuzzball. Chaos Engine, now that is massive. I remember Chaos Engine. Was Chaos Engine on the Mega Drive? I'm positive I played Chaos Engine. Is uh, what's that? Street Fighter 2, Wii U vs. Ken, Rolling Demo, oh, Rolling Demos, and McDonald's Land, six whole levels. Three complete games. Oh, that's a bit loose now. I might not put that in. Uh, Jewel, is that the Jewel what was on the spec as well I wonder, Wizzy's Quest and Match Patch and two all new missions for the toughest challenge, oh, what's that for, can't even read what that is, original game required, what's the game, I don't even know what the game is, if anybody knows what the game is, I can't work out what the game was supposed to be. I don't know. Let me know. Comments below. Next disc. Three complete games. Blaster. Alien Bash and Tractor Beam. Next one. The Lost Vikings. Save three Nutty Norsemen. Four level demo. That one's, that one's definitely for me. And next one. Technical detail, Wild Fang, Etch a Sketch, Key Set. That's more of an application disc, isn't it? Uh, complete program. Oh, it's a map. Great Britain, that before sat navs. Another pile. HR Giga's Dark Seed exclusive playable demo. Some Ace demos that I don't even, I've never even flipping heard of. I'll be spending more time going through this lot to see games I've never even heard of. 
because these haven't come to the specy. All these demos, I've never even even flipping heard of them. Abandoned places, payable demo of superb owl action RPG and beavers. <laughs> there we go. We found a level. We found a level. April nineteen ninety three. All instant games collection. Uh, going to work with Workbench 2.0. The thing is, because I don't know really the ins and outs of an Amiga, it's going to be a new learning curve for me. What's this? Uh, Super Frog. Signosis's best ever Turbo Terminator. Is that the game below Oblivion? Complete game. Wow. That's cool. A racing game. Parcel Stars. Wasn't that... I think I've played that. I think I've played Parasol Stars. Recently as well. I think I've only played it recently. I think I've played it for Retro Tech 100. What's this? Double the fun. John Madden, no. Fractals and rubbish at John Madden. My daughter completely wipes the floor at me. I don't understand it. No shotguns and Hail Marys in that business. I don't understand it. Fractals. My dad loves fractals. Two contenders. Uh, Space Gun. That would be for me. And Big Run. There's a fair amount of stuff I want to see on those demo discs. Right, next pile. International Golf. Uh, disc 2. Disc 3, hang on. Disc 1. International Golf. Oddly enough, I don't like golf, but I do like golf games. I think it's because it's easy. Pool. I do get. Uh, I do enjoy it. Pool on a computer. Lemmings. Disc one. Disc two. Hopefully, is on two discs needed. Lemmings. Disc one and disc two. Birds of prey. A and B. I'm guessing it's nothing to do with Huntress and. Uh, what was the other one? Enigma. Who was the other bird of prey out of the comic books? I can't remember. Uh, or Kes. Prince of Persia. Didn't we see that before? I think we did. Winter sports and rubbish at game, sports games. Flashback. We saw a flashback before. So this must be the demo. Let's have a look. Complete level. Yeah. And Woody's World. So complete there, but classy platform action from down under. No second prize. Now we saw a demo of this before. So that must be the full game backed up. Another disc. Christmas clip art. Cain and Abel. Useful label templates. <laughs> Fast disc. Make the most of your disc space. Um, text plus. A word processor. Bet that wasn't as exciting as that. What's this one? Simple maker. Generate stunning sim samples. Virus checker. Oh my god, viruses on computers. Never done the specky. Mm -mm -mm. Puzzles. D lock. What's that? Anti click device. RPG pitch of the month. That's strange. What's this one? The TV Sports Football Disc 2. Especially this one as we're going. Doodlebug. Road Rash. Definitely no Road Rash. Another World Disc 2. Now we saw Disc 1 earlier. There it is. You can see it right at the bottom down there. You can't see it. I can. Road Rash Disc 1. Hopefully we see Disc 2. Panzer Kickboxing. <laughs> Hey, Panzer Kickboxing Disc 2. Hey, look. Road Rash Disc 2. John Lowe's darts. John, John Lowe's darts are a bit flat. And the last pile of discs. R-Type. That is outstanding on any platform. Saint Dragon. 
That rings a bell, that. I think I've played that somewhere else. Shadow Dancer. Xenon 2. I've played that somewhat. Well, oh, I have, well, I just remembered why that's ringing a bell. I was, oh, my t-shirt the other day. Oh, if anybody's not seen my t-shirt for Xenon 2. Uh, Amiga. This guy spy. Superb spying action as you don the snow boots of Radisoft's high-flying secret agent. Uh, uh, uh. Azul demo and drip complete game. Print Studio, Mind Clearer, Simple to Play Strategy. Oh, TV Sports Disc. That must be the second one. Lemmings Disc 3. Right, I'm going to put these away later on. I'll make sure I put that together. Lombard RAC Rally. Wings of Fury. That rings a bell. Might play that. Flashback disc one. Could we find this too? Which, right at the beginning. Lionheart was that. Hack slash action. Playable demo. Revolution. A great arcade puzzle. Uh, Mansell's Grand Prix. Positive that was on the specy. Disc one. Disc two. And that concludes all of the floppy discs, which was a massive amount. There's a fair amount of demos on those uh, cover discs that I'd like to have a look at. Uh, as I said, if there's any classics that you've seen in that lot, let me know. Ones that I should go for straight away. So you can, like, Vil, don't prick around on looking at the clip art. Go and play this straight away because that is amazing. Uh, but coming up next is the box games. So if you want to watch those, stick around. However, if you want to quickly skip ahead the timestamp is in the bottom but uh, i'm just going to tidy up now and swipe to the box right uh these are the boxed games uh, i wonder if they can get fit on the screen on the camera just uh so the first one is zoom one meg only hopefully my expansion card is okay and they are all everything seems to be all here for instruction manual to disc to unlock code what else is in there so you can see something else in there everyone is kept like i said when i had a quick look through these before even a leaflet now if it was my stuff if it was my stuff they would not would not be in a condition like this uh, for those that don't know, in the early days, for game protection, we never had, there, there was no like electronic signatures, so you would have to rotate the wheel based on what we saw on the screen, and you'd get your code. I can't even turn it around with on camera here. I'm scared of ripping it. Uh, you'd rotate the wheel, and your code would show up what you had to put on, and that was your copy protection. A lot of people got around it by, well, basically copying the wheel photocopying the wheel and then sticking it on uh, but that is how you uh, made sure that your game was official but uh, this is immaculate even the plastic bag is pristine I would not have kept it as in good condition as this but zoo next Kind words. Oh, it's a word processor. It's just a word processor. I know some people like word processors. I've used a fair amount in my time, but I'm sure we all don't want to look at word processors. Kind words. Next. Clive Barker's Nightbreed. The light's shining on that somewhere, right, isn't it? There it is. Instructions as well. This is, even the, the case isn't even cracked. So well kept. Clive Barker's Nightbreed. Oh, something in here. I 
think they're the workbench. And I've seen that mentioned before. I don't know what that is. I'll have to have a look. Days of Thunder. I did see a Days of Thunder box floating around. Days of Thunder. I'll keep that to one side. Wicked. Electric Dreams. The Calling. Is this the instructions? Nope. This this is the uh, looks like the story of Wicked. The instructions and a story about Wicked. There's the discs. Look at that. How cheap. There's the instructions. Wicked. Like I said earlier when I was looking at the demo discs, because uh, rugby coach, because most a lot of these didn't come to the specy. Uh, oh, that's a squeak. Never got to see them. Rugby coach, not watching the way of instructions there. Pass ball backwards. Pass ball backwards and don't act soft. Uh, what's in here? Back to the Future 2. I've, now I've got this box for the Specky as well. There it is. It's exactly the same, except the Specky's just got a cassette. Well kept, though. Shadow of the Beast 2. Oh. Look at that. You could have a Shadow of the Beast t-shirt. Well, that's the address. I actually know where that is. I know where the Signosis building is. Well, it was. So I walk along and see if they'll still honour the free t-shirt uh, t for £9.99. Go along and see if they'll give it and it over. Shadow of the Beast 2. What's next? Sensible soccer. Yeah, oh look. The stickers fell off. It's been not been used that long, the glues give up. Oop, it's alive. The glues give up. Next oh, flipping egg. Oh my god. Now I know why it's heavy. Micro pros. F15 Strike Eagle 2. Now, Micropros were renowned for giving away like a King James Bible instruction manual with every game. So let's have a look. Yep. And there it is. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, here's the map. Everything is it, every all maps are here. Persian Gulf, Persian Gulf map, Central Europe. What's this one? Libya, another Libya one. Everything is here. There's a warranty registration card. What's at the bottom? Just a plastic bag and the games. Controls. I can imagine the controls. Even on uh, Specky, with like uh, carry command and stuff like that, there's about six million controls. So I'm guessing within a, a mouse, there's going to be double that. Next, choo choo, make way for the A train. From Ocean and Maxis, people behind SimCity. Games in the bag. It's coming soon, Jurassic Park. And the instruction manual, flipping heck, look at that. That is 
That's a complete instruction manual, isn't it? I might actually like to play that because I do like the Sim City. Next, Madden American Football. Oh my God, this is haunting me. So I'm gonna get out of back it. My daughter absolutely levels me with Madden Football. She always says that she's not gonna be mean when she's playing it against me. It's a nice cover. It's a nice box. It's like a. a uh, old Nintendo sort of box. Look, quick start, Hail Marys and all that business, double reverse. I don't know any of this. When my daughter's playing against me, she's all over the place with it. She knows, I don't. Yeah, that's a nice box, that. I like that box. Well played, Electronic Arts. I like it. All the electronic arts anymore, is it? Where is it? EA, that's it. Next, look at his face, Championship Manager. Discs, instruction book. Another fat instruction book. They were certainly gave you money's worth when it came to instructions, didn't they? They really did. There's no fuss, even the bag's got the name on it. If you really went to town, a lot like today, where you pay for the pleasure of getting a good package. Oh my god, before I go to, for this one, there's a Days of Thunder one. Days of Thunder. There. There's something else. What's this? GFL Championship Baseball and Days of Thunder. Uh, Federation. Right. Oh, look what's in here. Ooh. Disc. Oh. Badge. Just badge too. And we've got. Along with the badge. Oh! It's a prick my flipping finger. <gasps> oh, where everyone gets sepsis. Along with the badge, we've got uh, looks like a poster. Uh, what I'll do, I'll take a, obviously I can't get the full poster, I'll take a better picture of these later on and stick them on the screen about now. It looks like there's a second one as well. Yeah, there's a second one as well. I think it's the same one. I won't put both on because obviously that would be daft. There's a uh, free gift flyer. Uh, the badge with pin. Game. And instruction manual. Everything's here. Everything's here again. I would never have kept my games in such a cracking good condition. Right. I'll put all these away. And that should be that. See you in a second. I just, before I go, I just noticed as I was packing the Federation thing, there's a Cine World, uh, Cine World treasure ticket in it as well, which seems to be in part and parcel of the uh, free gift flyer. That was inside. Again, all saved, it's brilliant. Everything saved. Right, I'm gonna wrap up really this time. Okay, did you stay? Did you watch it all the way through? Did you click a timestamp? I don't know. Anyway, this is the end, my friend. This is the end. Uh, let's say something. Loads of discs, loads of box, loads of well kept boxes as well. I wouldn't have kept the boxes in that good an order at all. Uh, as I said, I was waiting, I'm waiting for a scout lead before I plug in the telly, and hopefully the memory expansion pack comes back with a big thumbs up. Uh, otherwise, I can always go on eBay, because looking on eBay, uh, expansions are quite cheap. I think it's called a GoTech. Uh, I think, uh, is it Wayne Edmondson? On uh, RetroTech 100 said, get a GoTech. Positive GoTech. 
might be pronouncing that wrong, which acts like a USB floppy drive. Might look at one of getting one of those in the future, but right now, I'm going to keep it real. I'm just going to stick a disc in. Bomb off. Thanks for watching, everybody. TTFN. Again, thank you, Monk. TTFN. Touch out for now. Cheerio. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.